What's up YouTube? My name is Clickwood and I am back again today bringing you guys a new video for my Madden 25 Ultimate Team Budget Series and today we're going to be learning how to get damn near unstoppable running backs for under 5,000 coins. And better yet, I'm going to show you why these cards are of incredible value when you compare them to some of the cards that are 5, 10, even 20 times as expensive. Now, if you're new to the series, I want to thank you for stopping by, but I also want you to take a look at the description below, because there you're going to find links to previous videos that we've done within this series. We've done basically almost every position at this point. We've only got a couple left, and in those videos, you're going to find all kinds of different values all over the field. And what's great about this series is that you're going to be able to find cards that you can replace the current players on your team with and get some insane value. You're going to be able to take coins that you save at offensive line for example and put it toward the running back position if you don't want to go with one of these cards that we put in this video and you're going to be able to spend more on that position because you're getting practically the same card at another position for way less coins so think about that guys and let's get into the very first comparison that we have today at the running back position and i call this group the bruisers so first thing that you're going to see here is that the cards that we're comparing are the 94 overall playoff edition Eddie Lacy and the 98 overall legend Thurman Thomas. Now, these cards go for a pretty different amount of coins. The legendary Thurman Thomas card actually goes for 35,000 coins, whereas the Eddie Lacy only goes for 4,000 coins. And, uh, you know, I think that these cards are actually a lot more comparable than what the coins would suggest. So, first of all, you're going to see that Thurman Thomas does have three better speed. And for somebody like me, that's a really tough pill to swallow because I like to get my running back out on the edge and I like to have open field where I can break away and run for touchdowns. Whereas other people are a little bit more comfortable running up the middle, getting four, five, ten yards a carry. I'm more looking for the big gains and I'm willing to sacrifice losing yards if it happens to go that way for whatever reason. But these cards are actually more toward the people that do like to have the more bruising style of running the football. And what was kind of interesting to me about these two cards is that Eddie Lacy is actually better at trucking, stiff arm, and then he also has the exact same elusiveness as Thurman Thomas. So that was kind of surprising to me. Then the other thing is that he actually has a better spin move. So while he lags behind in some of these attributes like acceleration, for example, and juke move and carrying and catching, um, he really does break away from the Thurman Thomas on the important stats if you're somebody that likes to run the football up the middle and grind for your yardage. Eddie Lacy, I think, is a very underrated card in this game. And if you're on a budget, this is the kind of card that you should be looking for. Eddie Lacy is good at pretty much anything. Uh, like I said, the one thing that he does concern me a little bit about is the 92 speed just for my playing style, but your average person that plays this game, you guys, a lot of people don't play like I do. You play a more traditional style of football, I guess. And Eddie Lacy is gonna be awesome for you if you consider that he's only 4,000 coins. So I would take a look at him, try him out. Even if you don't like him, it's only 4,000 coins. So if you buy him and sell him at the same value, you're only gonna lose 400 coins, whoop de doo Test him out, see if you like him in solo challenges, and then bring him into the head-to-head -head challenges when you get a little bit more comfortable with using him. So let's take a look at the next comparison. And I like to call these guys my elusive running backs. And I call them that not only because of the actual attribute that's called elusiveness, but also because of some of the other things that go into the elusiveness. Stuff like spin move and juke move and acceleration and agility and things like that. And the two cards that I'm talking about here are the 94 overall playoff edition Giovanni Bernard and the ghost of Madden present Reggie Bush 97 overall. Now for those of you who don't know, Reggie Bush is one of my man crushes. I absolutely love him as a football player. I couldn't believe the fact that he didn't go number one overall in the draft. In hindsight, it was probably a good choice by Houston, but I've always had such a big man crush on Reggie Bush. I think he's amazing. I try to take him in fantasy football every year. And uh, if you've seen my depth chart, you know that I actually have a Reggie Bush elite card as my backup running back to Chris Johnson. So I'm a big fan of his. However, in this case, I'm not sure that he's worth 40,000 coins. When you compare him to the Giovanni Bernard card, he really doesn't blow him away in anything other than maybe elusiveness where he's a 99 and Gio Bernard's only a 94, but still 94 elusiveness is really, really high. 
and he's great in all these other categories as well. Giovanni Bernard actually has better trucking. He has a nine better trucking attribute than Reggie Bush. And he also has a three better stiff arm attribute. To be honest with you, you could make a case that Giovanni Bernard is actually a better overall back than Reggie Bush. But, you know, the green and red here, as you're seeing on the chart, is definitely in favor of Reggie Bush because he does have the one-up on him in speed. He has the one-up on him in acceleration. He's got a one-up on him in a lot of different categories that you're seeing here. So, Reggie Bush, 40,000 coins, and really, like I said, he doesn't blow him away in, in anything. So, for 2,500 coins, you can get Giovanni Bernard, who is a really solid running back overall. And he's going to be practically the same thing as the Reggie Bush card, except he's going to have way better trucking and a little bit better of a stiff arm as well. So, overall, I really think that Giovanni Bernard is another card here that you should definitely test out. 2,500 coins, guys. It is like nothing. I mean, 2,500 coins is what you can get in a solo challenge. Try him out. This Giovanni Bernard card is really good, and I think you're going to be very happy with him if you do give him a chance on your team. Now again, obviously there are running backs that are better than Giovanni Bernard and way better than Reggie Bush even, the 99 Adrian Peterson comes to mind. But what we're comparing here is the price of these cards. And for 2,500 coins, there really isn't many better value cards in this entire game than Giovanni Bernard. Try him out. Again, same thing as the Eddie Lacy. If you don't like him, sell him. What are you losing, 250 coins? Who cares? It doesn't matter. Try him out, I think you're gonna be really happy with him. So let's take a look at the last comparison here. And I call these guys my pass catchers because we're taking a look at the 94 overall playoff edition Shane Vereen and the 97 overall free agent edition elite Darren Sproles. And both of these guys have ridiculously high catching attributes. I mean, they have higher catch attributes than most tight ends and a lot of wide receivers. Darren Sproles at 92 catching, that is insane. That guy is going to catch just about everything. Even Shane Vereen, though, 87 catching. That is so high. It's, it's a really, really nice stat to have if you like to throw to your running back. If you run a lot of shotgun and you end up throwing to your running back a lot, these are the cards that you want to look at. So with Shane Vereen, we are looking at a guy that does have lower speed. He is only 94 speed. Again, though, 94 speed is not going to be a huge difference on the field to 96 speed with Darren Sproles. He is a few lower in things like acceleration, agility, and elusiveness. And then the big area that I find to be worrisome about Shane Vereen is that he does only have 90 carrying. So if he gets hit by somebody like Sean Taylor or something in the open field, sometimes you're going to see him lose the football. And that's something that we do worry about from our running back position. We do not want him to be fumbling. So I always try to consider that when I'm comparing these cards. That is the biggest detriment to this card. Other than that, though, Shane Vereen is really awesome. He actually has an, a really good stiff arm attribute at 82 and 72 trucking. For a guy that catches passes out of the backfield, those things are really nice because when you don't get the spin move or you don't get the juke move on a guy, sometimes you do need to hit him with the stiff arm or the trucking. And he's actually able to do that way more often than the Darren Sproles card. So I like the Shane Vereen card overall especially when you consider that he's only 2,500 coins. When you compare him to the Darren Sproles card, which at 45,000 coins I find to be a little bit overpriced, it's, it's a no-brainer in my opinion. The value is by far in favor of Shane Vereen. These cards are very comparable in most of these areas. Obviously, though, the Darren Sproles card, it's very new to the game, so it's going to go down in price probably from the point where I post this video. Over the next week, it'll probably go down 5,000 or more coins. But at the same time, even if it settles at around 30, 35,000 coins eventually, it's still a little bit overpriced in my opinion. So that's why I like the Shane Vereen card. I love the Eddie Lacy card, and I absolutely love the Giovanni Bernard card as well. These guys are three running backs that you guys can put into your team. Depending on your playing style, you want to make sure that you're getting the guy that's going to be fitting well on your individual team. Just because I say that I like a specific card doesn't necessarily mean that he's going to be good for your playing style. So that's going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you learned something about how to get unstoppable running backs for under 5,000 coins. I want to hear from you guys. Did these cards work for you? So please, if you test them out, let me know in the comments section below. I'm excited to hear from you guys. I always like to know if you guys test them out. Thank you guys for watching today's video. And if you liked it, make sure you press that like button below. And make sure you subscribe to my channel. We are going to be still having the quarterback edition 
We're getting near the end here of the budget series, guys, unfortunately. I wish I could bring you more, and maybe I will continue to as they put out more cards or as these cards just continue to drop in value over time. But we've at least got one more video to go, so be on the lookout for that. I'm going to say probably on Saturday. That'll probably drop sometime Saturday afternoon, so look out for that. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.